Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to paint SpongeBob. Um, I wasn't sure I needed to do something that was fun for kids, um, fun for you guys, not too, too hard, um, and playful and fun and maybe an idea for Valentine's. Uh, so we're doing a cute little Valentine's SpongeBob. And he's going to be holding a cute purple flower because that's my favorite color. And his eyes are going to glitter with red glitter. And uh, you guys have seen me use glitter on pretty much every single rock that I've painted. <laughs> so welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like if you like my video because that actually really helps the algorithm. It helps more people see my stuff. And... Hopefully that helps me out in the long run. Who knows? Um, so I'm kind of sloppily sketching it onto my stone here. I did do a couple of coats of white paint over top of my molded stone so that the, the color stands out super bright. I used a sponge so that there's no brush strokes, no lumps, no bumps, and everything's ready to go. So I did wait until it was dry before I started sketching on it with a pencil, of course, but... Uh, that's up to you if you want to rush into it. <laughs> so this, his facial features might change up a little bit. I might adjust them once I actually start putting the paint on the rock. Um, but I'm just kind of trying to decide what I want and where I want it. I did get an idea of this uh, SpongeBob from Pinterest. And I'm not sure if it's... Um, if it's a card, if it's a Valentine's card or not, but um, I definitely didn't come up with his eyes in hearts like that on my own because it was inspired by Pinterest um, or somewhere on Pinterest, I should say. However, the flower is purple and it's he that was not on Pinterest. <laughs> it's a it's a SpongeBob. It's recognizable from the show, the type of flower that it is. But it's my favorite color and he's holding it and I'm going to put some glitter in his eyes and hopefully this ends up looking like Spongebob when we are done. <laughs> so I am using daffodil yellow. Actually, I started off using a different color and it was way too, uh, it was just not right. I think it was cadmium yellow um, or it might have even been. Uh, moon yellow, but I ended up changing it to daffodil yellow from folk art and I uh, ended up being more similar to it made me feel like it looked a little bit more SpongeBobish. <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't sell folk art SpongeBob yellow color because or else I would have used that. <laughs> So now I'm going to use some candy apple inside of the hearts in his eyes. I did just sketch them on. Uh, they're not, you know, they're not perfect hearts. They're not both the same size and I'm really okay with that. Uh, nothing about my work is going to be perfect and it still ends up looking pretty cool as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> now I did get some red on the white areas. So I'm just kind of taking that red off the best I can with a wet Q-tip and uh, going back over that with some white so that it doesn't look pink later on. Uh, we want to keep the white parts of his eyes white and the white part of his teeth white. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, we're going to go from there. He also has a white shirt on, like a nice little business shirt with a red tie. And that's going to stay white as well. So we have to be careful around that area. So there's this little red tie. His hands are holding like that because he's going to be holding a nice flower. Um... So, you know, keep that in mind. He he won't be holding it until later. Um, right now, he looks like he's pleading for a yummy treat or something. <laughs> but he will be holding a flower later on. Uh, so I am overlapping, doing a couple of coats of that yellow. Uh, you won't even be able to see any of my pencil marks very soon in the yellow area where I showed you where I'm going to put everything. Um, I'm just going to try and make it look like Spongebob again with paint. <laughs> um, and hopefully it does. Who knows? Um, if you guys want me to do Patrick or any other character, please let me know because they're really fun to do. Um, uh, so leave in the comments if you, if you want to see someone else. 
Squidward. <laughs> uh, I've never done him before, but uh, just let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can throw it on my tutorial list for you guys. Um, I want to do as many as I can right now because I know a lot of us are home. A lot of us are going insane and art is therapy for both kids and adults of all ages. So uh, I'm trying to kick out as many as I possibly can right now and hopefully that that helps everyone in some way or another. So I'm going to leave his hands alone. I once again, I don't know if you guys saw my angel tutorial, but I could not. The hands were just, they were not fun. And now SpongeBob wants to give me a hard time with his hands too. So I kind of have to go over his hands a few times and and I make a mess out of it with black paint and then I have to go over it again with white and yellow <laughs> and start over on his hands. So the hands do end up looking okay once we're done, um, but there's no easy way for me to tell you how to do them. Do your best. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> so now I'm going around. I'm going to outline everything with black paint. Some of it's going to be thick and, and not looking so great, kind of sloppy, but I'm going to go back in once that's dry and I'm going to clean it all up so they're nice, thin black lines. Um, I've, I guess I've had a couple of years now of practicing fine lining. So uh, it's it's much easier. It flows smoothly for me and people just, they're like, why? Why are you able to do that so easily? It's not easy. It really isn't. It's all about the amount of pressure you're using, um, your consistency of your paint, your paintbrush, uh, your patience, <laughs> and the amount of time that you've spent doing it. So you only get good at it if you practice. Um, you know, that's just the way it goes common sense. <laughs> so I've been doing this. I'm self-taught. I did not pick up a paintbrush until about seven, seven, eight years ago. Um, yeah, I, I'm not even sure now. And yeah, I started just painting rocks that were in my garden because I wanted some color in there. And it, it went from there. I started selling them on Facebook auctions and like little yard sales and brought them to a little garden center and I just kept going. I kept going. Um, so if I can do it, if I can teach myself to paint anything that you see on my channel and if I'm teaching you guys to paint it too, this means you can do it. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. No matter how old you are. <laughs> it takes time though. It definitely takes time, patience, passion, all these P words. <laughs> but yeah, it's a lot of fun once you once you get more comfortable with fine lining and stuff like that. It, it's just a way of life. And don't forget, check out my fine lining tutorial, uh, the brush that I have. It's, it's very handy. It's done me a lot of good and saved me a lot of patient or a lot of impatient times and mistake fixing and all of that stuff. So he does not really look like, kind of looks like Bart Simpson with funny teeth. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like in the end. <laughs> Can't promise anything, guys. Uh, so my fine lining brush and my blending brush tutorial will be located in the description of this video. So click the down arrow underneath the video uh, screen or there's like three little dots that you can click and there should be an option for you to see more or see the description of my video and then everything's in there everything from the mold uh the the etsy shop where you can buy the molds to make your own stones from happy dot and company uh the pink chair.ca has lots of glitter and foils and crystals and all sorts of stuff that are fun for your rocks you can use my discount code there as well um it's rachel mitchell discount code at the pink chair and it's Rachel's Rocks Canada if you go to Etsy and purchase anything from Happy Dot and Company in order to create beautiful works of art. Um, I'm just kind of straightening out his teeth a little bit and going over top of that white because you can still see some pencil marks in there. So I'm making sure that I cover that up really, really well. I used Melon Pink 
in the tongue. And then I used melon pink mixed with berry wine, a dark, dark, deep red for the inside of his mouth there. And I know it's strange coloring, but we're just going to do what we can do. <laughs> Doing what I see. Okay. So this is his sleeve. I'm going to be filling that in with white because, of course, you can see some of his sponge color through there. Um, but And I'm going to be coloring his pants dark chocolate brown. And he's going to be having a black little belt and just his white shirt. Um, now, the color of the little holes that are in the sponge and the outline of the sponge is going to be a little bit of yellow mixed with... Uh, it's called Italian Sage. It kind of looks like an olive color once I'm done mixing. Um, basically, I'm just kind of guessing at what this color is supposed to be to make the little sponge holes. <laughs> um, but you decide on your own if you want to use like dark green or uh, if you want to use gray or if you want to use like a, a darker yellow. It's totally up to you what you do. And I'm just putting random sponge holes everywhere. I'm actually going to expand out the top of his head on the right side of the rock a little bit later because I felt like the top of his head was too slim. Um, so I'm going to add a little bit more to the top of his head later and add a couple of more of these little sponge holes later. Um, but I'm going as simple as possible with you guys. So I hope you are able to follow along. Um, he's, he's pretty easy to paint actually. He's, and he's always so fun. I love SpongeBob. He's such a cutie. I, I always thought how inappropriate SpongeBob was for my kids, but I would actually sit down and watch it and I loved it. It was hilarious. There's a lot of funny stuff in that show. Um, and I just like SpongeBob's sweet personality and, uh, I get a few laughs out of it anyway. I hope that if there are some SpongeBob lovers out there that they're able to maybe create this for their Valentine before February 14th. Who knows? Um, you might even have time to order the multi mold from Happy Dot and Company and get it there in time to make one. <laughs> but you can also just paint this on any shape, any size that you want and do like uh, the outline of him and then do like blue water around him. Like I'm going to do some blue water around him um, soon, giving him some eyelashes. Um, I will be outlining him in black as well, but I'm going to put the water on first, which is going to be aqua. That's literally the color I'm using. <laughs> it's the color of water. And I'm just making sure like that you can see the side of him on the other side of the stone. On the left side of the stone, you can see the side of his sponge. But on the right side of the, spo the, spone, the stone, you can see water because we are not looking at the side of him. <laughs> uh, I hope I'm explaining this okay. We are going to, like I said, extend out the side of his sponge there at the upper right hand side of the stone. Um, I just feel like he's skinnier at the top than he is at the bottom and it looks funny to me um so yeah you'll see me stretch that out with a little bit of yellow paint and I'm gonna sit here and mess up the hands multiple times for you and I'm while I'm doing that I'm just gonna say thank you to uh anyone who has hit that like button recently or uh sent me a donation of any size I don't care how much it is um, my family and I truly appreciate it at this time. Um, I'm having to spend a lot of my time homeschooling right now and keeping track of a 16 year old who's supposed to be homeschooling as well. Um, and it's been really hard. I will be honest. It's, I've thought about taking up drinking. <laughs> I've added a little extra shot of Bailey's to my coffee recently. <laughs> Let's just say, um, yeah, it's been really hard and it takes me away from my ability to paint stuff to go in my shop, which is my livelihood. And it takes time away from me to be able to make tutorials for you guys. Unless I, of course, if you guys saw my uh, video go up on TikTok last night, I am up extremely late to paint these tutorials for you guys because that's the only time when everybody's sleeping, including my husband. That's when I when I can work really at this time. And I'm, I'm hoping that 
the world gets healthier and the kids get to go back to school and my kids don't feel so lost. It's so hard for them and they miss their friends and they miss their teachers. Even my son, my six-year-old, he's like, I really miss my teacher. I miss seeing my friends. And it's just not like the Zoom things are, you know, only five students would show up and maybe three of them were on camera so he could only see three of them. And half the time they were, you know, running off going to get toys or bringing their dog up to the camera or the teacher was asking them to mute and unmute their microphones and all that fun stuff. Um, so it's not the same. It's not the same as seeing your friend in person. So um, my son immediately claimed this SpongeBob stone. He said to me this morning when, when he asked me if it was dry, I said, yeah, it's dry. And he goes, do you mind if I give it to someone? <laughs> I'm like, well, who are you going to give it to? He goes, well, when I go back to school, I'm going to give it to my friend Dallas. <laughs> I'm like, well, okay then. So he is very, very excited to give this little SpongeBob stone uh, to one of his friends at school when he goes back. So that's pretty cool. It's really, really hard on the kids, I promise. Not as hard as it is on me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, it's it's hard for the kids. And my son Landon, who's 16, I mean, he misses having somewhat of a social life, even if it is just talking about movies or PlayStation games when the PS5 is coming out uh, with his friends at school. So it's not fun. And... We need some rays of sunshine and some glitter to get us through. <laughs> so that's why I'm adding some glitter to SpongeBob. Now his eyes are dry. The red portion is nice and dry. And I'm going to put some Mod Podge down. Nice thick layer of Mod Podge. It looks like glue. It dries clear. You can use whatever you want to glue your crystals or your crystals. I did it again. Your glitter. You can use whatever glue you want as long as it dries clear. So it will end up looking like this for a bit until it's dry. And then you use your handy dandy desk broom to sweep off all that excess glitter. And it ain't going to go nowhere. <laughs> he looks super cute. Um, I've painted his shirt. He's I've outlined his collar. I'm putting some Mod Podge again over top of it with a sponge. And that's going to really hold all that glitter in place when we seal it with resin. So, now the finally long-anticipated flower. We're going to use some Swing Set Green by Martha Stewart, and so we're going to use Folk Art Lavender and Light Lavender for the flower. Um, I've looked up, obviously, the shapes of flowers on SpongeBob, so that's where the shape is coming from. And it's my favorite colors. So it's a super easy flower. There's nothing difficult about this. Start with a circle and do like a wiggly, wavy, weird looking petaled flower all the way around. There's five petals, kind of look like thumbs. <laughs> and I'm going to go on the inside of that with a light, uh, light la lavender. And I'm just putting two simple little leaves here. It's super duper simple. And you know, it's nice if you made any mistakes over in that corner, you can hide it with a flower. <laughs> Just a little hint. So I'm going in with Folk Art Light Lavender, which is very similar to the lavender we have here, only lighter, as you can see. And I might need to put two coats on to go over top of everything, uh, but I'm going to leave it just like that. Then I got to put in the center, I got to fix this because I kind of covered it. So I went back in with the, the lavender color and I'm going to put a light lavender dot in the center of that one once it's dry. So until that's dry, I'm going to outline everything in black. I made sure to outline SpongeBob in black to separate him from the water. Make sure you outline all your fingers, all your, your collar, your sleeves. Um, make sure that the leaves are out, outlined. I'm not going to outline the stem of the flower because um, that's it's really tiny and I don't want to overshadow it with black paint. Um, but I am just going to give a quick outline to the leaves and make sure your eyelashes are on. Just make sure everything is outlined and that you can't see 
uh, anywhere that needed like more coats of paint, like over top of pencil or over top of other paint. Just make sure everything is covered and um, you can't see through it because once you do seal it, you're gonna see where you didn't put enough paint. Oh, I forgot I needed to give him a little cheek, just a little cheek. I'm gonna use that same olive colored, same color I used on the little sponge holes. There you go. Now we are going to seal him with resin. I was gonna sing the SpongeBob song because I can actually do a pretty good impersonation of that pirate. There it is, but I'm not going to do that to you guys. I love you guys too much. <laughs> so he's been sealed with resin. He's gorgeous and shiny. He's so shiny. He looks like he's underwater and he might be offering you guys a flower because he loves you so much. He's giving you the flower from me because I love you so much. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you really liked it. If you want me to do another character from SpongeBob, let me know and I will put it on my list. I do have a striped flower one coming as well as an eye. Maybe you can guess what kind of eye it's going to be. I love you guys. Make sure you keep painting, even though it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to be inspired. It's hard to pick up a paintbrush or be creative, but give it a try. Give it a try and mess it up a few times and fix it and give it a try again. I love you guys. Keep painting, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.